people in the house today. I've never done a video with someone in the house. So I feel like I'm going to be really, really quiet throughout the whole thing. Hopefully in a bit I'll sort of ease up and talk a bit louder. But she's ill as well. And she's asleep. And she's next door. So it's going to be quite quiet. You never realise how ridiculous an experience is until you've had your brother say it out loud over the internet. Like that Hitler thing actually happened. Someone did put posters with my face and Hitler's body and the moustache over the on all around my town. But just how ridiculous? How ridiculous is that? That's a lie. It sounds like a lie, but it's actually the truth. What I want to talk about today is something that's annoyed me so much that literally it's all I go on about at the moment. It's it's driving everyone crazy because it's I won't shut up about it. It it annoys me so much. It's the television show Paris Hilton's Search for a British Best Friend. So I'm not the biggest fan of Paris Hilton anyway, and when I heard of the show my British best friend. I knew instantly it was going to be an absolute train wreck. I mean, the whole premise is ridiculous. 12, 12 civilians are fighting out and doing tasks to become Paris Hilton's British best friend. I mean, what is that even a prize? I don't understand what you win by being her British best friend. She doesn't live in Britain. She's not going to be here. She's not going to be able to take you out all the time or anything. It's not like you get any money. I think she just takes you on holiday or something, and that's it. I mean, you'd be better off enter in a this morning quiz where you get like 50 grand and your mortgage paid off for a year or something. I don't understand what the appeal is of being Paris Hilton's British best friend. The tasks they do as well are absolutely ridiculous. Like one was who can stay out and party the longest. Most, most people when they look for a friend look for trust, loyalty, love, stuff they have in common. Not Paris Hilton, not Paris Hilton. All she needs is someone who can get drunk and party. That just, that just shows the depth of the woman she is, like that's all she really cares about, that and her dogs. At the beginning of the show, she says um, something like, oh, I've been really hurt by people in the past using me as a way to get famous, and I really want to find a friend I can trust. If I was trying to find a friend I could trust, I would not broadcast it on television. That is not a way to find someone who's not in it for the money or the fame. Can you think of one person who's, who's become famous because of Paris Hilton? I can't think of anyone that I knew because they were friends with Paris Hilton. The people on the show who are the contestants, uh, also it's just ridiculous. Like, one, one of the girls was made into the final ten and was almost a member of Girls Aloud. Um, another had apparently been getting with a lot of B and C list celebrities, like getting with them and stealing, away, stealing, the, stealing them away from their girlfriends or something. And it's like... Why are you picking these people who you want to be able to trust and know they're not in it for their fame when they've already tried to get famous? She says she doesn't want people who are using her for fame. Don't pick them then. Don't put them into the competition. She, she's ridiculous. The woman is stupid. Another thing that really makes me laugh is the abbreviations that she uses. Like, um, British best friend becomes BBF. And then there's obviously the obvious BFFLs and BFFs. And... The craziest one is, talk to you never. That's what she says when um, the girls the girls that have been put up for discussion are then um, sort of eliminated. And, oh, that's what they call being evicted or whatever. You're, you're being discussed. Discussed. Like, that happens in the real world. Like, when someone's annoying you, you go, we're go I'm going to discuss you with everyone else, then we can decide if we're going to be your friend or not. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. Um, and talk to you never is... I'm shortened to TTYN. TTYN. Why would you abbreviate something you've never ever said anyway? I've never thought, oh my gosh, I say the phrase talk to you never so much that I must abbreviate it. I mean, I'm always telling people talk to you never. It's just, it's a poorly worded sentence. It's ridiculous. Why, why have you abbreviated that? Why would you even say that? Talk to you never. TTYN. Oh my gosh. And it's just the most immature thing to do. Like, abbreviate, BFFs, yeah, you're, you're behaving like a 12-year-old, and you're meant to be, like, what, 26? 
the way Paris Hilton treats the contestants as well is hysterical. Like she's got this thing that if you're like you're like her favourite one of the week or something, she'll make you her pet. That's what she calls it. You can be my pet, as if that's like a reward. Like oh, you can be my you can be my animal. You can be my like you're lesser than a human now. You're you're you mean as much to me as my dogs do. Anyway, thank you for listening to my rant about Paris Hilton's British best friend, and I'm sure you'll see Josh next week. <laughs>